So a few days ago, I made a space station in Space Engineers just to show off the fact that you could add mods, but I just kind of threw it together. I decided to try a for real version, so I made a scenario that features a lot of mods. All of the mods are aesthetic at this point, well, 99% of them are aesthetic, but that doesn't mean they have no effect on the game. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've built. In this mod, you start in your bedroom staring at the Earth, but the first thing you should notice is that it's very quiet and dark. Almost as if the reactor isn't working. This is your living area. We can go over here to check on the reactor. Yep, it's quite quiet. No sounds, no lights. There's no uranium in, the, in these reactors. We'll need to go and find some. But exactly how much time do we have left? Well, this isn't a hard mode game, so we actually have quite a bit. To be specific, oop, tab. To be specific, we've got one day of fuel time left. That's enough that I feel comfortable turning back on the station lights. With the lights on, you can see that this area is larger than it looks. This station is actually fairly compact. Um, it doesn't have very much in it, not very much functionality at least, but it looks big because I've had to fill out the area with all these ventilation ducts and wires. So you can see wires and ventilation ducts running everywhere. And in fact, you can traverse the entire station through ventilation ducts. For example, if we were to equip our hand drill here, I guess we have to turn on our jetpack here. I actually have ha no, no idea how much damage these grills can take. Oh. Well, I damaged the roof. I must have broken the... Yeah. So I accidentally broke the thing behind the grill, but it still stands as, uh, as an example, because we can go inside. Oh, well, we could if it wasn't so broken. Let's go ahead and try and tidy this up so we can get in. There we go. And you can fly all around inside of this, and you can go anywhere you need to go. So here you can see your, your buddy. This is the side on, that your buddy's room is on. And we can actually go all the way over into his room. Hey buddy, you okay? No, you're just a statue? Alright. Anyhow, uh, there is a lot of potential here, but of course there's no actual gameplay involving these grates just because there's no concept of uh, you know, anything in them great in the grates that you need to fight. But you can see here's your life support system. And if we were to switch back to our drill, let's go ahead and use the grinder this time and try and get out. There we go. We're back in engineering again. But let's go ahead and see what lies await lies at fault. Let's go ahead and look at the top. <laughs> Up above the space station, we have the uh, the mining vessel that we have come to start with. I did the same thing with the mining vessel in assuming that the wiring was actually required in order for the ship to run. It's not, of course, but don't you think it actually makes the ship look pretty cool? Now this is a really excellent mining vessel. It doesn't have any uh, uranium on board, of course. It does have a reactor, but the idea is that you will... Oh, come on, stop attracting to that. The idea is that you'll never need to do that. You can instead just uh, um, 
use the onboard batteries. It has three batteries, one of which discharges very fast and the other two of which have large capacities. And the reason for that is because you'll need the, the fast to discharge from time to time when you're doing a lot of uh, excessive acceleration or deceleration, but normally you're going to just want to um, to work off of the long, slow batteries with the high, uh, with the large amount of uh, capacity. So this ship is also far more basic than it might initially look. It doesn't have any, um, it doesn't have any collector, you know, anything that I can uh, suck stuff in from, uh, and it doesn't have quite as as wide an angle as you might hope for. A lot of people who build these ships build them with. Uh, uh, the idea that you can just drill, drill straight into the rock, but while I can build ships like that, I wanted this to be a definite starter ship, so it is a little bit difficult to handle, and you will end up ripping it up uh, after a little bit of time goes by. With that in mind, despite all of that, it is fairly well made. It doesn't wobble much, uh, it has enough storage and so on, and the battery packs are more than enough to keep it running for a couple of hours. You can see that the fast discharging battery is almost discharged already. But the two slow ones are still at like 90%. I'm backing up a little bit just so I can shear off that spike. It was getting in my way and I couldn't move forward anymore. What's going on? Why are you stuck? Oh, you're not stuck. I'm not used to the first-person view here. It's got a pretty good angle, and uh, as you might have noticed, there are some small lights on the sides. So in addition to the frontward spotlight, you, you can also see out the sides, and that allows you to go in and while you're, tunnel, while you're being a tunnel rat, you can still um, see the angles on the sides. You can see that in action here. Anyhow, that should be enough uranium to get us started. One of the things I like about this design is that as it takes damage due to you scraping on the walls, it actually looks cooler because the piping gets damaged and destroyed. Oh, we're way short. There we go. So if we actually, we can actually do this from here nowadays, I forgot about that. If we look in the inventory, not our inventory, stupid, um, we can see that it's already popped over to the refinery, but what we actually want to refine is uranium, of course, and that'll get us the uranium we need for our reactors. So now if we were to go down into the base, we would find that our amount of time remaining was steadily increasing. And now that, that the very, very first hurdle has been surpassed, this makes a pretty basic mining operation possible. Uh, there are lots of other things I want to do. Oh, that's, that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, there it is, 11 hours. Hmm. Our fuel time went down. It should go up, though. It should just start going up and keep going up. It probably went down because we're recharging some batteries. Anyhow. Uh, the uh, there are so a lot of other ideas I want to do. I want to play with combat a little bit, but I'm primarily a constructive person. Um, in the end, the fact that all of these uh, vents and all of these wires were put in really makes the space station feel interesting, and it gives it a little bit of interesting flair because at times I have to come through the hole, and I've done a little bit to try and disguise that, and that has given me some interesting shapes to put inside of my station. It looks like looks like we took some damage at some point. Oh, that was me grilling, drilling my way through. I've already forgotten what I did three minutes ago. Anyhow, that's the basic idea of this kind of mission.